Hey guys and girls, welcome to video log number 28. This is a, uh, a video log of how to change the water pump on the Fiat Panda. The Fiat Fire engine, it's the same kind of engine that goes in the Chinky Cento. Chinky Cento, I still can't say that word properly. You know, Chinky Cento. Um, the Fiat Uno, the Fiat Punto, and I'm pretty sure the Bravo has it as well. There's probably got a load more of other uh, Fiats that have the same engine as well, but they're the ones I sort of know that have the engine. So, thinking question is the bit there. It makes a funny horrible grating sound. The first thing I need to do is to remove various piping from the airbox, as it will be in the way. Probably just remove the airbox completely. Nice and easy to do. Undo. It's a bit windy today. I've got the, uh, the canopy moving about a bit. You undo that one, there's another clip underneath. You undo that one, and the airbox will come out. And to pull it out of that as well. Down there. So, uh, the next job to do now is to probably remove the coolant. So, I need a bowl and to undo the little hose clamp here and let it all spill out into the bowl. Now, to find a bowl. Alright guys and girls, uh, sorry about that, um, there has been a one, or sorry, say two delay, two day delay in me doing this because uh, I, hadn't had, I hadn't got any uh, in gasket sealant at all, so I had to go out and, uh, and buy some, well, order some online, while well, an auctioning website saved my life yet again. But yeah, I completely forgot about doing a video while I was doing this, so yeah, I've already taken the cam belt off and the water pump out. And uh, yeah, a lot of there was no ga uh, gasket as such. It was just full of um, of, of sil yeah silicon seal. And we compare all three together, and they're all the same sort of pump. We've got two nice shiny metal ones, and we've got yeah, we've got one that's made out of plastic. Very strange. My name on it as well. So, Frendenberg, is it? Frendenberg. I can't can't say it properly. Made in Germany. Well, whatever. I've got a new pump to go into. I've got a choice of which one I'm going to put in. So uh, I'm going to put this one. This one in, because it was the more expensive one. Cheapo Besto. Yeah, not Cheapo Besto, mate. That was the cheap one. Although it's the one that matches it considerably well. I'm going to put the uh, the more expensive one in, which was this one, which is apparently OEM spec. So this one probably was an aftermarket one, as <laughs> with all the silicon sealant that was around it. I'll just get the silicon sealant and show you. So there was no gasket as such. It was just. Uh, had a load of silicon sealant stuck around it, and uh, yeah. So interesting that one, very interesting. Let's hope it cures my uh, noisy, grunty engine problem. It only uh, seems to appear when the engine is warm. Right, on to fitting it. I think the problem was, I don't know if you can see in there, guys and girls, because I can't see the screen, but. Inside there is where the water pump is. Don't know how well this is coming out. I'm actually going to rely on this to see what it looks like inside. So this will be interesting. Maybe if I could hold the camera upside down, I could probably see what it's doing on the screen. Right there. Let's have a look. This is actual footage of inside the water channel. Oh, that looks interesting. Is that where it's been rubbing on the... Oh, that could be where it's been rubbing, look. The difference in the colour of metal, where it's a nice sh shiny uh, metallic colour and where it goes a bit oxidised. The squeaking noise is my torch, by the way, guys. It's just, it's just telling me my batteries are running out. That could be where it was rubbing. Let's 
possible. Okay, guys and girls, the water pump is back on. Uh, a new one, sorry. The new water pump is on. A um, couple, of, couple of tips and notes to have things to do when you actually put the water pump on. Don't forget to clean the surface that the water pump mounts to nice and clean. Make sure there's no remaining uh, sealant around there. Um, if you're going to use a sealant, don't use standard silicon sealant, which you would use to you know, seal your bathroom together. You have to use some uh, proper instant gasket or other other various uh, stuff, the blue stuff. I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, you've got to make sure that it's temperature resistant. Because I know some of the stuff you get for your bathroom is not temperature resistant. Um, yeah, and just be careful when you're putting it back on. Try not to uh, knock anything too much. Uh, tips with your timing belt is uh, don't play around with your timing. When you take the belt off, don't start turning your thing all around because otherwise you'll mess your timing up and you've got to retime your engine again. That can be a pain in the ass to do. Luckily, I remembered not to do that and uh, hopefully the timing's all right. I've turned the engine over by hand down at the bottom and it seems to be good. It's still got its compression there. Whether it will start is another thing. Uh, you tension the pulley, don't forget you've got to tighten that up. You don't want too much tension on your belt. You've got to have a bit of play in there. Otherwise what happens is, is you uh, put too much strain on one of your pulleys and you'll wreck the seals. Normally it's the water pump that suffers. It could have been what happened to my old pump, I don't know. But from what I can tell, the old pump doesn't seem too bad. We'll see when it's running and up to temperature. If it still makes that grunty sound, we'll know it's something else. And the only other thing it can be from this side of the engine is the oil pump. Which is going to be a pig to get to, because I have to take the sump off to do that. But, uh, oh well. Only time will tell. Oh. So I'm now just at the point of putting all the hoses back on again. And draining all the uh, excess water out of there, which was all um, I used to flush the system out. I didn't, need didn't really need to flush it out, I just did it to see if any bits of metal would come out of where the pump was. You never know what it means making a grindy noise. Yeah, I was just degreasing underneath and around the water pump when I uh, had it all off. The engine did have a slow oil leak from the uh, from the rocker cover, so uh, I couldn't get to it before. You noticed it's it's a lot cleaner down there now. Hope it's going to stay like that. So uh, yeah. Now it's just a case of jugging all of the coolant back into the engine. Now, the reason why I'm not re um, the reason why I'm not putting fresh coolant in is because this coolant was put in not long ago when I uh, when I put the new radiator on. That was one of the first things I did on the car. And I don't think I actually have a video of that, but. Uh, yeah, I did it anyway. And after I've done this, we'll see if it will start. Alright then, let's see if starting is not an optional extra. Choke is out. I'll do it halfway. Like I have already turned the engine over by hand. So let's see if it works okay. Yeah, seems to run okay. Let's get a bit more choke. <laughs> you got to love up the old fashioned manual choke. That seems pretty good. Well, we've got some steam. That's all right. We don't mind water evaporating off the thingy. One way. A 
it doesn't seem to be complaining too much. <laughs> I'm going to stall, I'm going to stall. No, I'm not. <laughs> Coolant in. There's a bit of debris in the bottom of this coolant. I'm not going to put it all in. I'm going to try and sort of use gravity to filter out the bits of debris that's in it. On second thoughts, I'm not going to use this coolant. I'm just going to dump this bit in the horses. Lumps of God knows what in there. What the hell's that stuff? Oh, it looks like oil. Oh no it's not, it's actual bits of... No, it's bits of uh, silicon sealant. The old stuff. Oh, no it's not, it's bits of... You know what that is, don't you? That's bits of black plastic from off the old pump. In fact, you can see where it was rubbing. Look at that there, look. you can see where it was rubbing. How well does that come out on the camera? Yeah, you can see the, score, the scoring marks where the pump was rubbing lot. Well there you have it, that's the reason why it was making that grunting noise. So I wonder if it was an, OE, uh, an aftermarket part then. I mean the whole thing is plastic. It's <laughs> strangely plastic. Really weird. I don't know if Fiat actually put plastic parts on their engines from new. I don't think this has ever had a water pump change. But it's uh, yeah, a plastic water pump. Completely plastic with obviously metal bearings in it. Oh, it's had a thingy one stuck chucked in there now. My hands are actually hurting quite a bit because I've got paraffin on them. I could be washing it off. Yeah. I don't know where the coolant is, but I did purposely make the mix very strong in the uh, in the in the bottle, so I guess I could just get away with using. Uh... Oh no, I could actually put some distilled water in there. So we've not got any. Um... Ooh, we've got a full bot tub of the stuff as well. So yeah, I can get rid of that stuff somewhere. And we can top it up with proper distilled water. Because this has always had distilled water poured in it anyway. It's never had tap water put in there. We live in a very, very hard tap water area. So uh, you'll get lime scale and stuff if you put it in a car. And the kettle gets pretty bad. I don't drink tea or coffee myself, but I'm going to fill it quite high because there is still some air in the system. Of course the valve hasn't opened yet. Let's start it up again and uh, pull the choke out because <laughs> the choke's right in. over very rough for some reason and I'm not 100% sure why. I mean just the sheer fact I've got a ton of water down my spark plug gap uh, holes is not a good thing. However it does show how good the waterproofing is on the electronics. And for that to start up like that, that's doing pretty good. Now last time it happened what I ended up doing was just letting the water boil out when it got, uh, you know, hot. Because I just couldn't get the, all of it out. You can get the bit of it out, but further down the gap, you just can't get it out. Obviously, if you were to take the spark plugs out, it will flood down into the cylinders. Not a good thing. So the best way to do it is just to let the, uh, the water evaporate out of there. It actually seems a lot quieter. I don't know whether that's just been mine playing tricks on me, but... I mean, you have got the hissing sound coming from the carburetor. 
Where's my air box gone? Put that on. Yeah, that's sounding a lot quieter actually. Good lord. Definitely working. Put the top back on. Well, let's just leave it ticking over till it gets to a full operating temperature. And uh, we will see if it, um, if it still makes that grunty, grunty sound. Well, guys and girls, we're up to working temperature. Radiator is quite hot. And listen, no grunty grindy noises. So it looks like it was the water pump that was doing that sound. And I'm getting the odd puff of steam come from out of my radiator because it's still full of water. You can see all the water that's still stuck in it. But yeah, it's all up to a, a nice hot working temperature. The valve's definitely opened up and I'm getting no grunty grindy sound. So to me, that is definitely a job well done. The water's slowly boiling off. <laughs> I have turned the uh, fuel mixture right down on the thing. So now when you stand behind the car and you smell the exhaust, it doesn't have that excess petrol smell that they get. It's a, it's a smell you only really know if you uh, if you play around with engines a lot. And uh, yeah, that smell you can you, you can definitely tell it was there before, but now it's not there. You know, now the idles drop down. What? Oh yes, and uh, I took liberty of. Uh, Using some tyre pen, whatever it's called. Yeah, you see now, look. The engine starts to idle really slowly. Mind of its own. Don't know where I put my tyre pen now. It's disappeared somewhere. I think I dropped it on the floor. Uh, screws and things are missing, but... Yeah, there it is. Tyre marker pen. Bought from off a well-known auctioning website. What temperature are we at? Not bad. One of my LED bulbs has gone. Put my indicators on. It doesn't light up on the screen. That's not good. Got a fair MOT on that. I'll have to uh, sort it out. Anyway, I think that's about it for this video log because I've done the uh, water pump and that's about it. So uh, thank you very much for watching guys and girls and I'll catch you later. Hope this has been to help, uh, uh, I hope this has been of help to some people. <laughs> Peace out. Hehe, <laughs> I just remembered why, um, why I was getting an oil leak from my uh, gasket that goes around the, uh, the, the uh, cam cover. Yes, uh, it was because someone cleverly forgot to put um, gasket sealant on it. <laughs> Not saying who it is like, but you know, mm, oops. So uh, I've just took it off, cleaned it up, removed all the oil. Because it's a new gasket, I am going to keep it. I've just washed it in, uh, in paraffin. Give it a blast with the hose pipe to get all the uh, excess oil off there. Say so it's, it's like it's new look. It's, it's only been on the car literally a couple of weeks not many say a month or so at max so I'll just uh, put some silicone on there I've not cleaned it massively just enough to uh, get all the oil from out of this gap uh, and I will get some of the old sealant there 
and just run a bit of that through through it just a little bit just enough to stop it from uh, leaking anymore don't want to go over the top with the stuff I don't want it spilling out everywhere right here <laughs> whoops I think the reason why I uh, I forgot it was because uh, I didn't have any <laughs> to start with I did the job and then realized oh I've run out of sealant so uh, whoops yeah anyway I've got some now just done the water pump the logger there that my friends left around here by mistake I don't drink the stuff myself but uh, <laughs> anyway oh, yes I can't do anything with that. I'm gonna try and make it clean it up a little bit more. I'd like it to look really nice, but I don't know how you can clean them up. Sand it down, I suppose. I've already uh, cleaned it with paraffin and the jet wash, but uh, as it goes, it'll do for now. Like I say, oh, I've got oil in it now. Oh, where's that? Where's that rag gone? Oh. Oh well, just one thing, uh, so you don't forget, <laughs> don't forget to put, um, yeah, don't forget to uh, clean out the, the thingies of oil, because gasket stuff, yeah, okay, it it will stand oil, but uh, it prefers it if it's nice and clean, you know, obviously it's got to be nice and clean to stick to it, so just give it a wipe down and, uh, yeah, then you, and apply your instant gasket stuff, although I'm just using it as a sealant that's what it is okay guys and girls thanks for watching